Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off episode 13 of the 120 Days to Jump Economics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall continue questions from uh, measures of central tendency, making use of the Flash Learner Jam application. The first question we have today says, if the arithmetic mean, the mean we've been solving is simply as arithmetic mean, so don't let arithmetic confuse you. If the arithmetic mean of 1, 2, 5, 6, S, 16, and 18 is is equals 8 fine s if the arithmetic mean of 1 2 5 6 s 16 and 18 is 8 find the value of s wow and mind you it is 8 not 80 take note of decimal points in questions what is mean or arithmetic mean? This is on group data. So arithmetic mean S bar is equal to summation of S over N. Which means if I ask you to look for the mean of this value, you simply tell me that the mean S bar is 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus s plus 16 plus 18 all over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all over 7 this is what you will tell me now they told us that the mean is 8 meaning adding everything here over 7 you will get 8 that is the mean so we have all everything here but there is a challenge this is s so what is the value of s to get s we add all the numbers then we make a subject formula it will be very very easy for us to achieve how do we do that 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 16 plus 18 that should amount to 48. So, 48 plus S over 7 is equals 8. 48 plus S over 7 is equals 8. From here, we know that 8 is the same thing as 8 divided by 1. If we know that and we agree with that, cross multiplying and don't ever say, uh, we have plus here. Let something here cancel something here. It doesn't work. So long plus is separating two numbers, you cannot cancel anything. Never. You can't cancel. The only way, and you cannot say 48 plus s is 48 s. It is not done. It is only done when you have times here. Once you have times, anything can happen. 48 times s is 48 s. Then you can divide up and down if it can cancel. So long there is times. But anytime you have plus, 
Cancelling should not come to your mind. Therefore, here we cross multiply. 48 plus s, everything times 1, it will remain 48 plus s. So, 48 plus s is equal 7 times 8. And 7 times 8 is 56. 48 plus s is equal 56. Let's take 48 to this side. Since there is no negative value in front of 48, it means 48 is positive. If we take 48 to the other side, the sign will change. It will become minus 48. Which implies that we are left behind with plus s is equals 56 minus 48. So s is equals what? 40, 56 minus 48, that is 8. So s is equal to 8. And option B is the correct option. Find the median of the following set of score. 8, 9, 6, 5, and 10. When you arrange the number in ascending order, you will have 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. At the middle will be 8. Now let me tell you, I'll uh, give you something like this. If you have 2, 4, 3, 5, 6. 1. And I say, find the median. Arranging this in ascending order, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you remove 2 here, remove 2 here, you notice that 2 numbers are in the middle. A situation where you have 2 numbers at the middle, how do you find the median? To find the median, look for the average of the 2 middle numbers. That is 3 plus 4 divided by 2. So what you get here is your median. If two numbers are at the middle. I hope that solves your curiosity. The most popular sizes of dresses and shoes are determined by dash. Mode is the most popular number. The number that appears the most. So the most popular sizes of dresses are the ones you see the most. The ones with the highest frequency. So mode is used to determine popular sizes of dresses and the median of an odd number set of scores is the middle value in the set from the first frequency table we are given now we are asked to look for the median which which is the middle number now let's look for the position of the median where will the position of the median be this is a group data remember i told you that for a group data the position of the median, this is not the median, the position is summation of f over 2 if s is even. And if s is odd, if f is odd, summation of f over plus 1 over 2. If we add all the f's, which is 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1, that is 10. 10 is even. So position of the median is Summation of f over 2, that is 10 over 2, this is 5. Position of the median is the fifth position. Now let's start looking at the frequency and let's see the fifth position. If we start from the left to the right, adding the frequency, 2 plus 3, that is 5. And 5, that position, the third 3 corresponds to the to 5. From right to left, 1 plus 3, 4 plus 1 and 5. It therefore means that frequency of 1 and frequency of 3, they both correspond to the fifth position if you add from the right and you add from the left. That gives us two middle numbers, which are 5 and 8. Since 5 and 8 are the middle number, the median will simply be the average 5 plus 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 6.5. So ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of central tendency. Mean, median, and mode. Mean is summation S over N for ungrouped data. For group data, summation of FS over F. So when you have table for group data, just multiply up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Add everything. Then add all the frequencies. Divide what you got 
by multiplying up and down, up and down, and adding by the frequency. That is your mean for Google's data. I hope you found this episode helpful for your assignment. Open the Flash Nas Jam app, search mean, see questions, search medium, see questions, search mode, see questions. If you have any problem or concern, feel free to drop your comment and you can reach me on any of my social handles. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my video updates. Thank you. See you next.